、はい、ここ、うん、もうもうもちろん僕の僕のバイクじゃないから、うん、でもあのリッチな感じになるからバババババってなるから、うん、暖かくなるまでは暖かくなってきたらバーンって回るようになります、はい、多分ブワーしたらちょっとブワーする<笑>僕のじゃないから<笑>大丈夫気をつけるはい気をつけます撮ってるあれはあれはあれはあれはあれはあれはあれはあれはあれはあれ Feels like I'm riding a toy, it's awesome. Look how little this thing is. I'm gonna stand up. y e a h look at that. No torque, no torque at all. And that clutch sounds crazy when it's pulled in. Bop, ba da ba ba ba. Goes to 12,000 RPM. It revs real slowly for these first few RPM. And then it picks right up at about 5k. It's only got a kickstart, so I, don't, I really don't want to kill it. Mini car, mini bike. Ooh, it's fun. It doesn't, uh. The steering isn't as light as I, as I thought it would be, though. I mean, it's not like it's heavy or anything, but it's, uh. It feels. It kind of feels more like my CBR1000 and the handlebars than my 600, but that's all that is. God, this clutch is annoying though. <laughs> that kid. Let's give him some smoke. Oh, no, don't go away. I'm short shipping a little bit because I, I was telling them, you know, it's not my bike. I'm not gonna. If I bend this bike or if I fuck up an engine, which two strokes are a little bit finicky, I don't, I don't wanna. I don't plan on buying this bike, so I'm, I'm gonna ride it like it's, like it's not my bike. So weak on the low end though. It sounds like an angry bee. This clutch, though, is fucking ridiculous. It's pretty fast, though. Especially for a 250, that leaves smoke. Yeah, I smoked everybody out. These mirrors are garbage, too. But it's not like this bike was made for commuting. So, like I was saying before about Hondas, you know, like. Like, oh, let's just say, let's just say, Honda can't make a bike like this because of emissions and stuff, but honestly, this bike is so much more interesting than a CBR250. This is like the golden, I, I consider this to be like the golden age of Hondas. It was interesting, it was unique, it was fun, it was fast. You know, the, the, the CBR. 250 and by the way if you own one I feel bad I don't feel bad for you but I don't I don't mean to hurt your feelings or anything but the CBR 250 isn't any of those things you know even uh, my CRF that I bought it's not it's not a it's not really any of those things either but I, I just bought it because I want to go off-road for cheap which I don't know what this bike would retail that I don't know this thing retail that but I, I wonder if it was considered to be an affordable bike back in the day or if it was competing with some of the higher the the the, the newer bikes the bigger bikes Oh, I can't launch this bike for shit though. Holy shit! Holy shit. 
Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. Well, my God. Whew. I don't know if I could say I'm a good writer for getting myself out of that or if I'm a terrible writer for letting that happen, but oh my fucking God. <sighs> that was like, mm. I saw that car, but I thought it was, and that's why you want ABS. First gear it is for this little hill. It's literally light. God, I can't, I can't get that ex, that uh, near miss out of my head, guys. That's about as close as it comes. So we know the brakes work a little bit, maybe too much. <laughs> That's a bad place for a ladder. Well, guys, I honestly. To be honest with you, I wasn't planning on rigging this bike out, but even now, I have zero confidence in these corners just because of the, that, that rear brake, brake slide I just did. One thing I like about this seat is it really sucks you in. I'm trying to get off the bike a little bit, but maybe I'm just too big, but when, when I'm sitting here, I'm basically just locked into the bike, which I, it kind of limits my tank movement, but I don't, uh, it feels good, but if you want to kind of lean off the bike, it kind of makes uh, that tank is really angular, so it uh, makes it a little tricky. I don't know why that rear, I don't know why that brake locked up so easily. I didn't jam on it. If I was on my CBR 1000, even, you know, that's got ABS, but even on my CRF, you know, like, you got to jam on that brake to get the to get it to lock up and this thing was just it was just that rear end was sideways before i even knew what to do but i knew what to do because that didn't fucking break my neck beautiful day though Beautiful day to die. This road's got way too many manholes. I never noticed that before. Well, I would. I almost bought this bike, <laughs> guys. I, I was hoping to give you a little bit more in-depth review, but my mind is just not in it after that. The position feels very similar to my 1000 except that I just feel much bigger on the bike. But the bike feels like, the bike initially feels like a toy, but you know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really feel that way anymore to me. After you get used to it, you get used to the size, you get, after you get used to the size, it just feels like a regular bike. But the good thing about that is it feels like a regular bike, but all of the weight is gone from the regular bike. I would say the weight makes it feel like a toy, but the size after you get used to it just feels like a regular bike, which is nice because it doesn't feel like you're out of like your element at all. You can just kind of get on it and ride it like you normally would. Jeez, yeah, fucking just locking up, just, just I just locked up the brake there easily. It wasn't, I wouldn't have, well, I guess that's one thing you should do is test the bike out and learn how it operates before you get on it. But this thing, the, it locked up way easier than I had imagined. I would have felt so bad if I'd been this bike. So what do you guys think? Write in the comments. Was that my fault? Was it the NSR's fault? Am I a douche? Am I just a pro rider for saving that? Or <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the replay, but that, you know, and it's not that it snuck up on me because I could have stopped easily enough on my big bike. But that rear end stepped out so fast with like almost like no pressure on the pedal that it, uh, it, that's why that's why it was hairy because of the, that rear brake. Not necessarily the car was a dick hole. No 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 uh, no question about that. But the the ease of which the rear end stepped out on this bike 
was what made the situation hairy. I could have stopped on any other bike that I'm familiar with, but Jesus, guys. I would have been... I would have been too embarrassed to go back to that motorcycle shop ever again. It's weird how fast your brain works too in a situation like that because right in the middle of it, I distinctly remember thinking, oh fuck, this is a speed wobble. This is what a speed wobble is like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock up this brake, watch. It's locked. It's locked. Even at that low speed, it just locks. Ski Janai. Ski Janai. Tano, tire ga sveri asui ka brake, rear brake ga tsuyoi kero, chotto dake hun de rear ga sveta. Tire, ruin. Moi, sono bike. <laughs> でもありがとう。<笑>